Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation. A functional equation in a single variable, the easier kind. We have f of x plus f of 1 over 1 minus x equals x. And we're going to be solving for f, which means we'll try to find an expression for f of x. Alright, let's see. One of the things that you can do is replacing x with something replacing x with uh, another function of x, right? Let's call that g of x. And if you do that, for example, if you replace x with g of x, it's just going to be f of g of x plus f of 1 over 1 minus g of x equals g of x. Because everywhere you need to replace x with g of x. But not just randomly. Obviously, after doing this, you want the results to be nice. For example, you want to pick your g of x such that this turns into something like that. For example, this expression right here turns into something meaningful. Maybe x, right? Or this will turn into x. Well, it's already x, so it can't. But at least we're hoping that this is going to turn into x. But suppose you didn't know that, right? Let's just do what is more obvious. Since we have 1 over 1 minus x as one of the arguments, it would make sense to replace x with 1 over 1 minus x. Because if you pick your g of x that way, at least this is going to be the same as that one. So hopefully we can get somewhere from there. Okay? So here's the idea everywhere in the original equation. Replace x with 1 over 1 minus x. Okay? So in other words, I pick my gx to be that. If you do it, you're going to get f of 1 over 1 minus x plus f of 1 over 1 minus g of x, but g of x is 1 over 1 minus x. And then this should be on the right-hand side, 1 over 1 minus x, because that's g of x. Make sense? Okay. When you use a different variable, it's a little easier to understand, I think. Now, we need to simplify this. Okay, how do you simplify that? Let's go ahead and pull it out, simplify, and then we'll put it back. Okay, what is 1 over 1 minus 1 over 1 minus x? Great. Let's make a common denominator at the bottom. That will be 1 minus x minus 1 over 1 minus x. 1 is going to cancel out. That's going to leave us with minus x over 1 minus x, which we can write as x over x minus 1. And if you flip this, you're going to get x minus 1 over x. Great. So that gigantic expression inside the parentheses is now going to be x minus 1 over x. We just found out, right? Great. So that's one ex equation that I'm going to be using in the near future. So let me go ahead and box it real quick. And now we'll continue with the process. Now, replacing x with 1 over 1 minus x just brought another function. You can call that h of x if you want. So here's what I'm going to do. In the original equation, if you call this h of x, this one, then I'm going to replace x with h of x. Because I'm going to be getting f of x minus 1 over x from there. But what is this guy, one going to give me? That's a good question. Let's find out. So our original equation was, if you remember, f of x plus f of 1 over 1 minus x equals x. Now, in this equation, I want to replace x with x minus 1 over x, which I called h of x, right? If you do that, you're going to get the following. f of x over 1 minus x, this x is being replaced with that, and then plus f of 1 over 1 minus h, which is x minus 1 over x. Again, another thing that you need to simplify. And on the right-hand side, x will be replaced with that, giving us x minus 1 over x. Make sense? So far, so good. Are you following? Okay. I hope I didn't lose you. Now, let's simplify this expression again, just like before. Let's pull it out, and then we'll put it back. How do you simplify this? Make a common denominator, x minus x plus 1. Divide by x, beautiful. This becomes 1 over 1 over x, which is x. Were you expecting that? Well, I wasn't. Anyways, so that's an x. And now we can replace it with that, or I can just rewrite it. f of x minus 1 over x plus f of x becomes x minus 1 over x. Great. That's just one equation, but we had another equation. We're going to bring that back over here. Let's go ahead and bring that equation down, and then we will put these all together. Okay? Ready? All right. The, uh, the equation that I got above was f of 1 over 1 minus x plus f of 
x minus 1 over x. Oops. That made a, like a minus sign, sort of. I don't like that. And the sum is equal to 1 over 1 minus x. Remember that? And the original equation was f of x plus f of 1 over 1 minus x equals x. Beautiful. I love this functional equation, and I might have done this before. I apologize if I did, because that looks very familiar. But anyways, it's a really nice problem, and I think it, it's worth doing it over and over. Now, I got three equations and three unknowns. Does that make sense? Yes, we have a very nice system. And our goal is to solve for f of x, and f of x appears twice. But guess what? Every equation appears twice, if you consider the whole thing. So, we're going to add these up. And guess what that's going to give us? We're going to get two of each. In other words, we're going to be getting from here two times f of x. I want to write the f of x first. And then f of 1 over 1 minus x. Oops, too much of a space. f of 1 over 1 minus x plus f of x minus 1 over x. Everything comes twice. And the sum, who knows what, right? That's going to be something complicated. Let's put the two here and put the sum here. Sum is going to be the sum of these three things, right? Let's go ahead and add them up. And if you add them, you're going to be getting something like x plus 1 over 1 minus x plus x minus 1 all over x. Now, make a common denominator, and you're going to get something like this. Ready? Negative x cubed plus 3x minus 1 over x times 1 minus x, I'm just going to write it as a product because later on this is going to be helpful. Trust me, don't distribute. You can, and then you will have to factor again. Okay? So far, so good. Are you following? Good, good. Now, notice one thing here. We added two of each, and we got this. So, what does that mean? It means that I can take this expression and divide by 2 to get the sum of the three things. Let's do it. f of x plus f of 1 over 1 minus x, plus f of x minus 1 over x, equals this expression right here, and I should have left more room, so let me pull this over here to the left. And now this should equal this guy over here divided by 2, because it's 2 times that. So we got to divide by 2 here. If we do, we're just going to have a 2x. Don't distribute it again, because we're about to do something, okay? Now, I want to get f of x. So, if I could find what this is, and obviously I didn't want to mess up the equal sign. So, if I could actually find out what, what's in the box, <laughs> then I'll be good. And I know that, right? It's one of our equations. Look at this. We know that f of uh, 1 over 1 minus x plus this, this one right here. It's equal to 1 over 1 minus x. And that's why it's important to not distribute, because notice we get a common factor. I mean denominator or whatever, <laughs> something like that. So here's what I get. f of x plus 1 over 1 minus x equals negative x cubed plus 3x minus 1 divided by 2x times 1 minus x. Now subtract this, minus 1 over 1 minus x, cross it out, and then you got the answer. But now make it a common denominator would be fairly easy. Just multiply by 2x and do the math, and that's going to give you negative 3x negative x cubed plus 3x minus 2x, that's just going to be a plus x, minus 1, divided by 2x times 1 minus x. If you want to distribute it, fine, you can do it now, okay? I know you've been waiting for this moment, and that should give us the answer. Since we were looking for f of x, we got it, case closed, we're done. Thank you for watching. Okay, and this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care. And don't forget to watch the videos on A plus BI as well. And bye-bye.